Imagine you are at an all-you-can-eat buffet. The food is delicious. There are piles of your favorite fruits, nuts, and snacks. But there is a catch. A big, scary security guard is watching you, ready to kick you out at any moment. Or worse, a hungry lion is lurking under the table. You have two choices. You can sit there and eat slowly, enjoying every bite while risking your life. Or, you can find a way to take the food with you. Now imagine you do not have any pockets. You do not have a backpack. You do not have a bag. Where do you put the food? If you are a monkey, the answer is right on your face. We have all seen the cute pictures of a hamster with its cheeks puffed out. It looks adorable. But in the world of primates, specifically the old world monkeys of Africa and Asia, those chubby cheeks are not for show. They are high-tech survival gear. They are biological grocery bags that can mean the difference between life and death. Why did nature give these animals such a strange superpower? The answer is a fascinating mix of danger, chemistry, and high-stakes thievery. Before we open wide and look inside this incredible adaptation, if you love learning the hidden secrets of the animal kingdom, please make sure you subscribe to our channel Monkey Low. We are building a community of primate explorers and we need you on our team. And please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. It really helps us out. Now let us discover the secret power of the pouch. To understand why these pouches are so useful, we first have to understand what they actually are. A cheek pouch is not just a little extra loose skin. It is a highly specialized muscular pocket. It opens inside the mouth, usually in the vestibule, which is the space between the cheek and the teeth in some species, like the macaques or baboons. These pouches are incredibly elastic. When they are empty, they fold flat against the neck, almost invisible. You would not even know they are there. But when they are full, they can expand down to the chin, or even as far back as the shoulder, the capacity is truly mind-blowing. Some monkeys can store a volume of food in their cheeks that is equal to the size of their entire stomach. Just think about that for a second. Imagine if you could fit an entire Thanksgiving dinner inside your cheeks before you even swallowed a single bite. That is the kind of storage space we are talking about. This is not just a snack pocket. It is a second stomach. But why store food? Why not just eat it? The biggest reason is speed in the wild. Spending a long time exposed in a fruit tree is dangerous. High up in the branches, you are visible to eagles. On the ground foraging for fallen nuts, you are vulnerable to leopards, tigers, or snakes. Every second you spend chewing and swallowing is a second you are exposed to an attack. The cheek pouch allows a monkey to perform a strategy known as smash and grab. They can rush into a food source, grab as many fruits or seeds as possible with both hands, and stuff them rapidly into their pouches. They do not chew. They do not taste. They just pack. In a matter of minutes, they can clear out a branch. Once their pouches are bursting, they can retreat. They run to a safe spot, maybe a thicket of thorns or a high cliff ledge, where predators cannot reach them. Only then, in the safety of their hideout, do they push the food back into their mouth, one piece at a time, to chew and swallow in peace. It turns out that eating slowly is a luxury only safe animals can afford. But predators are not the only threat. Sometimes, the danger comes from your own family. Monkey troops are intense, competitive places. There is always a hierarchy. If you are a low-ranking monkey, Finding a delicious pile of berries is a stressful event. If a dominant male or a higher-ranking female sees you eating, they will simply walk over and take your food. They might even beat you up for it. The cheek pouch is the ultimate anti-theft device. If you hold the food in your hands, it can be snatched. If you leave it on the ground, it can be stolen. But if it is inside your face, it is yours. It is much harder for a bully to pry your mouth open than it is to grab a fruit from your hand. Low-ranking monkeys will often stuff their faces frantically when they find food hiding the evidence of their discovery. They can then walk casually past the dominant alpha, looking innocent while carrying a full meal right under his nose. It is a way to cheat the social system and ensure you get your fair share of calories. 
This storage system also allows for better processing of food. Not all food is ready to eat immediately. Some seeds are covered in sticky pulp or hard shells. If a monkey sits at the source trying to clean every seed, it wastes time. With pouches, they can harvest the raw material and do the processing later. There is also a hidden chemical advantage that scientists are just beginning to appreciate. The cheek pouch is not just a dry bag, it is a wet environment, bathed in saliva. But this saliva contains special enzymes. One of these is called amylase, which helps break down starches into sugars. By letting starchy foods like unripe fruits or tubers sit in their cheek pouches for a while, the digestion process actually begins before the food even reaches the stomach. It is like a pre-cooking marinade. This head start can help them get more energy out of tough, hard to digest foods. It turns out their cheeks are essentially a prep kitchen, but not all monkeys have these pouches. And this is where the story gets even more interesting. If you look at the primate family tree, there is a major split in the old world monkeys. On one side, you have the Cercopithecines. These are the cheek pouch monkeys. This group includes the baboons, the macaques, the mandrills, and the guenons. These are the generalists. They eat fruit, seeds, bugs, and pretty much anything they can find. On the other side, you have the colobines. These are the leaf-eating monkeys, like the colobus monkeys and the langurs. They do not have cheek pouches. Instead, they have massive, complex cow-like stomachs. Why the difference? It comes down to diet. Leaves are everywhere. You do not need to rush to grab leaves because the tree is covered in them. You do not need to hide leaves from other monkeys because they are not a rare high value prize. So the leaf eaters evolved giant stomachs to ferment their food slowly, while the fruit eaters evolved giant cheeks to snatch their rare sugary prizes quickly. Nature gave each group exactly the tool they needed for their specific lifestyle. This difference dictates their entire behavior. Cheek pouch monkeys are often more aggressive, more active, and more exploratory. They are the ones you see raiding tourist areas or farms. The leaf eaters are often slower, spending their days sitting and digesting. The pouch is a badge of a high energy, high risk lifestyle. Let us look at a specific example of how this works in the dry savannas of Africa. A vervet monkey might find a patch of acacia seeds on the ground. These seeds are small and hard to pick up one by one, but the vervet works like a vacuum cleaner. It rapidly grabs handfuls, stuffing them away. But the ground is hot and dangerous. A cheetah could be hiding in the tall grass. The vervet minimizes its time on the floor. Once its cheeks are full, it climbs back up into the safety of the trees. Now, the real work begins. The vervet pushes a few seeds back onto its molars. It cracks them open, spits out the shell, and swallows the kernel. This sorting process takes time. If it had to do this on the ground, it would be dead. The pouch essentially buys the monkey time. It trades space for time. There is another fascinating use for these pouches that has nothing to do with food. It is hydration. In dry environments, water is scarce. When a monkey drinks, it usually laps up water with its tongue or scoops it with a hand. But some monkeys have been observed, filling their pouches with water or juicy, water-rich fruits. This allows them to carry a small reservoir of hydration with them as they travel across the hot, dry landscape. It is literally a built-in water bottle. However, having a bag of rotting food in your mouth does come with risks. Just like humans can get gum disease, monkeys can get infections in their pouches. A sharp seed or a thorn can scratch the delicate lining of the pouch. If bacteria get in, it can cause a painful abscess. In the wild, a severe infection in the cheek pouch can be fatal, preventing the monkey from eating. It is a reminder that every evolutionary advantage comes with a cost. But in the modern world, the cheek pouch has taken on a new, more controversial role. As humans expand into monkey territory, we plant crops, farms, orchards, and gardens are just giant buffets to a monkey. And the cheek pouch makes them the ultimate crop raiders. A farmer might chase a monkey away, but in the 10 seconds, it took the farmer to run across the field. 
the monkey has already stolen 20 tomatoes. They can raid a market stall in the blink of an eye. This makes them incredibly difficult pests to manage. You cannot just guard the food because they are too fast and you cannot chase them until they drop the food because the food is already secured inside their bodies. Their ancient survival tool has made them perfectly adapted to exploit the human world. We also see cheek pouches play a role in the adorable side of monkey life. Have you ever seen a baby monkey reaching for its mother's mouth? Sometimes, a mother will allow her infant to take food directly from her pouch. It acts as a weaning tool. The mother can soften hard foods in her cheek and then pass them to her baby. It is a way of sharing and teaching the infant what is safe to eat. The anatomy of the pouch is a marvel of biological engineering. The muscles that control it are distinct from the muscles used for chewing. This means a monkey can chew food on one side of its mouth while storing food on the other side without mixing the two up. It requires a level of coordination that we humans would find difficult, like patting your head and rubbing your stomach, but with your mouth muscles. So, the next time you see a monkey with a swollen face, do not think it has a toothache. Respect the pouch. You are looking at a creature that is prepared for anything. You are looking at a survivor that has evolved to deal with predators, bullies, and scarcity by evolving a backpack on its face. It is a simple solution to a complex set of problems, and it is one of the key reasons these monkeys have been able to spread across so much of the globe. They carry their survival kit with them wherever they go, from the forests of Asia to the savannas of Africa. The cheek pouch is a symbol of the opportunistic, clever, and adaptable nature of monkeys. It reminds us that in the wild, you have to be ready to grab every opportunity that comes your way and hold onto it tight. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the fascinating anatomy of our primate cousins, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us to keep growing and bringing you more educational videos. We want to hear from you too, which specific monkey species would you like us to cover in the next video? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.